This is how to rotate the screen on the iPhone 17 Pro Max. Let's take the Chrome browser, for example. I open up Chrome and I flip the phone in this orientation and the screen's not rotating. I want that to rotate. So what you need to do is turn orientation lock off. Swipe down from the top right. It's gonna be this little red lock and a circular arrow. If you tap on that, orientation lock is off. So now if I go in here and put the phone in that orientation, you can see that it rotates. So it's working in that app. Not all apps support that feature, but what I wanna do is show you guys a shortcut. You can set that to automatically do that. What I mean is automatically turn, uh, this will turn on and off by itself. So you don't have to go in every time and toggle this on and off for your favorite apps. So right now I have it, I turned it back on. So if I go in, I have it set up for the Photos app. If I go in the Photos app and I wanna look at this car and I flip it this way, you'll see that it automatically rotated. So if we look back in there, you can see that it's off. Now, when I close out of this app, and you can throw it up in the Switcher app as well, but just close out of it. And then now if I go back in and look, you'll see that orientation lock is back on. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up. So what you wanna do is the built-in shortcuts app is this one right here, it says shortcuts. You wanna go in and you wanna open up shortcuts. Then down at the bottom, it's gonna say automation. You wanna set up automation. I have this set up so it'll go on and off when I open and close the app. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete these and I'm gonna walk you guys through the steps of setting your automation up for you. So what you wanna do is select new automation. We're gonna come down and we're gonna look for the one that says app. You're gonna go ahead and select that. And this is where you can choose the app. You can even choose YouTube if you want, if you want it to work on YouTube. But I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with the Photos app for right now, just to show you guys like how this works. So you'll come down here and you'll find photos, you'll select photos and then tap that check mark. Now what we wanna do is this says when app photos is opened, we want it to run immediately. So not after confirmation, I wanna select run immediately. So this is only part of it, click next. And now we're gonna create a shortcut for that to the set orientation lock. So in here you wanna type in set, just start typing it in and it should generate or populate here. Set orientation lock, go ahead and tap that. So it automatically puts it in here and then this blue, it says toggle. So what you wanna do is tap on that and you wanna select the one that says turn. So turn orientation lock on. I actually wanna turn orientation lock off when I go into the Photos app. So I'm gonna tap on that and choose off. But the first one we're gonna set up is turn orientation lock off and then I'm gonna select that check mark. So the next thing we wanna do is set up the other half to like when we close out of the Photos app, we want it to turn orientation lock back on. If you don't want it to do that, you don't have to set this up, but you can have it turn it on and off, you know, per each app. So we're gonna walk through this again. I'm gonna hit that little plus, go down here, and I'm gonna find app. And then I'm gonna choose photo again. I'm gonna select photo. So when app photo not opened, I'm gonna uncheck open, and, but I'm, now I'm gonna tell it when it's closed, I want this task to run immediately. I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna create a shortcut for that in set orientation. Set orientation lock, tap toggle and choose turn and then turn on. So when I close out of the Photos app now, orientation lock will turn back on. So there's your two automated tasks to run when you open and close the Photos app. So right now let's take a look. Orientation lock is on. If I go in and open Photos and we take another look, orientation lock turned itself off automatically. And if I close out of the Photos like that, we should be able to go in and look and it should be back on. Try that for some different apps and you guys should have some fun with that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, hit that like button, share the video, leave a comment or subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys in the next one.